Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about exporting a VMware VM to an OVA using Power Command Line interface. I think on the last video, I showed you guys how to install Power CLI, and so let's get started on this particular topic. So first things first, I'm gonna right click on my start menu, go to run, type in WinVER, hit OK, and I'm running everything within a Windows 10 version 1903. I think on the last video when I showed you guys how to install the VMware Power CLI, uh, we left off doing the following command, git vm. So out of the VMs that I have within my infrastructure, I wanted to convert uh, the vkali to an OVA. So this is how I did it. So first things first, we need to remove all the snapshots within your virtual machine that you want to export to a OVA. So we need to run the following command line and we need to run get snapshots, the name of the virtual machine, and I'm gonna pipe it with a remove snapshots and then confirm it with a dollar sign false. Hit enter, it's gonna do its thing and Done. Now the next command line that we need to run is we need to shut down the virtual machine. So you're going to do is get VM uh, with a parameter of dash name and the name of your virtual machine. And we're gonna pipe it with a commandlet of shut down VM guests. And again, dash confirm with a dollar sign false. Now for me, when I ran it, it was errored out. And the reason why is because the virtual machine was already shut down. But if your virtual machine is running, it should go through with no problem. Now, the next command that we need to run is we need to remove any media. So if you left an ISO mounted within your virtual machine, you got to remove it. So we're going to run the following command lip. Get VM dash name, the name of your virtual machine. Pipe it to get CD drive. Pipe it again to select the CD drive with a parameter of dash no media, dash confirm with a dollar sign false, and uh, run that command, and boom, the media is removed. Now, next thing that we need to do is create a location of where we want our OVA to be dropped into. So within my desktop, I created a folder called OVA underscore import, or capitalize. It doesn't really matter the name, but name it whatever you want. Uh, that path, I copied it. And I copied it into the following commandlet. Get VM dash name, again, the name of your virtual machine. Pipe it to export V app with a parameter of dash destination. Open and close quotations. And inside the quotations, you're going to type in the path for where you want your OVA to drop into. Then the parameter of dash format OVA. Uh, run that command. You're going to see right here, it's going to start giving you like a percentage. Depending on the size of your virtual machine, it should take a while. I think my Kali machine was about 20 gigs or so. Uh, it took between 5 to 10 minutes, I believe five to 10 minutes. You are able to go inside the folder and you are going to see a temp file inside that folder. If you're like me and you're very impatient, you're constantly refreshing, refreshing until it changes. You're also able to go inside your uh, VMware, like vSpare client. And at the bottom, at the recent task, you should see the export OVF templates uh, command. It's running. Uh, that's another way to check the status. But uh, once everything's completed, the PowerShell commandlet should stop. And if you go inside that folder, you should see your OVA. Uh, for me, it was around 13 gigs, so that's not that bad. Pretty cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And also subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.